Hello, it's Kathy Salisbury, the director of the Ambler Arboretum of Temple University, bringing you another virtual video about plants. And so today I thought I'd talk to you about this interesting insect that I have found in my garden. And this is called the clavate tortoise beetle. And uh, it can be considered a vegetable garden pest. It really likes to feed on plants that are in either the uh, morning glory family or in the potato family. And so you will find these on morning glories, on your sweet potato vines, on uh, bindweed, which in that case is a good thing because bindweed is a noxious weed, and on tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, and potatoes, which is who, what this one is on now that we're looking at right here. And so in doing some research about this and how to control it and if it's going to be a problem, whoops, cat just walked right through my potatoes here. So, so if, uh, so we, we want to do positive identification. We want to know who the insect is before we start to do any controls. And so we've identified that the cat likes to climb in the potatoes, but also that the um, clavate tortoise beetle is occurring here. And so if we take a look for the damage that these beetles are causing, they're not in great numbers here, but they're in great enough numbers for me to notice them. And so we'll take a look. Here's one on the move. Let's see. Here he is on the move. So you can see they kind of have this little flattened profile. You can see the two antenna there, the very distinctive markings. And um, they cause these holes, kind of rounded holes in the leaves here, just like that. And um, in between the veins. So you can see that they're in between the veins there. And when I was reading up on how to control these, or if I should even control these once I de identified them, I um, made note that it really says that these guys really just cause uh, mostly aesthetic damage. So they're not going to damage the plant uh, enough to reduce your harvest, and they're not going to damage the fruit that you want to get from the plants. And so that's important to note because remember, not everything that causes holes in your leaves are bad, right? Uh, we like caterpillars that make butterflies. And so though they are doing some damage, they're not doing enough um, usually to cause a problem. Now, that is not always the case. And of course, there's always exceptions and everybody has different tolerance levels. So there are ways to manage these. So one is to encourage beneficial insects in your property by planting plants that attract beneficial insects so that those beneficial insects will come over and eat these these harmful insects. We can also think of these insects as beneficial insects because they will eat the noxious weed bindweed, so that's pretty exciting. And um, we need, you know, maybe you don't need to do anything about them at all because they're not causing a problem. In this case, I have noticed more than last year. They do have only one generation per year, and so um, it's not like some other insects where they'll just keep reproducing and reproducing. They do only have one generation, but I don't want that generation to come back next year in this vegetable garden. So I am going to hand pick these and um, dispose of them. I'm going to put them in some soapy water and dispose of them, but I'm not going to spray all of the plants. I'm not going to worry about getting every one of them removed, but I do want to just um, be sure that I am doing something to control these. So this one, um, these two that we've looked at so far were on potato plants. Oop, you can see how they fly away. And I'm just going to show you that when I look, because once I learned that these really do like potato and potato family plants, you can see some of the damage here on the potatoes. I'm going to move through the vegetable garden. And here we see some on the tomato plants and the tomato plants here and here are some making new ones which we want to stop we don't want any new ones a uh, new generation and here's some more so and here's another one and you can see the types of holes they make so here they are on the tomato plants and then when i take a look at my peppers guess what they're on there too my peppers are little still but you can see the holes here uh, very indicative. So even though I don't see them there, I can tell that this is the damage from the clavate tortoise beetle. And so I'm going to take a look on the leaves on the undersides and the tops of the leaves to see if I can find them. 
and then I will um, hand pick them off. So I don't think that any chemical control or any other control besides that is necessary. And so I will leave you with that today, just a little bit of information from the home garden about clavate tortoise beetle. I cannot wait to be in the gardens with you all again to do education face to face and to learn together. But until then, thank you so much for joining us here in our virtual site and um, take good care and we'll see you soon. Again, this is Kathy Salisbury, the director of the Ambler Arboretum of Temple University.